So what if I was to tell you that there is a knife out there that takes the idea of a mid-weight survival knife and then kicks up the fit and finish, the materials, and the quality? I am so stoked to introduce to you the first run of the Dark Timber Honey Badger. The idea with this knife is to be the ultimate in a mid-weight survival knife, being able to handle light to medium hacking and chopping, to be able to baton and split medium to light logs, to be able to do feather stick making, carving, notching, everything in between. And our buddy over at Dark Timber Knives, Peter Kohler, has designed this knife in the mid-tech arena. Peter and Dark Timber Knives has been a custom company, one order, one knife, exactly the way you want it. And that's what Peter has been known to do and be able to make some of the most amazing blades on the market. But he has now recently jumped into making production and mid-tech level knives, where he's producing a run, you have several hundred knives, you purchase some, and each run he's tweaking them, fine tuning them. And so this was the very first production run that they have done on these mid-tech lines, taking everything that Peter is known for in the custom world and now applying those ideas and concepts and styling to the production world. So guys, I cannot tell you how stoked I am today to walk through this idea of a mid-weight survival knife and how this version of this honey badger can perform and what this knife can do for you. All right, let's hit the specs here on the blade and then we're gonna talk about the blade performance. Okay, so now let's go ahead and actually talk about the performance of the blade, the cutting edge of it, and how it performs in your mid-weight survival knife task, because it's basically got to be a jack of all trades. You've got to be able to do almost anything within reason that this knife in this size, that's why you carry a knife of this size, could do. From building uh, you know, small shelters to splitting wood, and the splitting was fantastic. Right out of the gate, we did a bunch of batoning and the high saber grind, and then ma marked with the thickness of the blade, works in unison to just split like crazy. So this is gonna split anything within reason about three inches in diameter or less. This thing will just fly it right apart. No clip to worry about or anything, so it's not gonna damage your batoning stick. Batoning is fantastic. Now with this size of knife, you may want to deploy it in a possibly a soldier role, or you just want to have that backup, you know, last ditch tool. If say you're in some sort of an attack, wild animal attack, maybe, you know, a zombie apocalypse, you know, whatever the thing may be, how does this thing pierce and how does the tip hold up? Well, the tip is very strong and it did a great job stabbing into the material that we tested, prying on it side to side, very tough, very durable. So this is going to handle a lot of abuse on the tip and penetrate well. Now you gotta be able to cut cordage, nylon rope, webbing, rubber, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Maybe you're in an urban, urban environment, maybe you're out in the woods, whatever it may be, you gotta be able to slice through that man-made material well. And this does that well for being that mid-weight survival knife. I was very pleased, the, the edge is insane for going through man-made material. Much better than most mid-weight survival knives that I have tested in the past. So I love the grind angles, and again, with that saber grind working in unison with the, the geometry of the blade just working really well to take care of those man-made materials. Now, with this knife coming in at 11 and a half ounces, it's a lightweight blade, obviously, in comparison to maybe some other ones out there that are like a pound, like a BK2 or something like that, or an SE5. But I prefer right around that 12 ounces, which is great. And so this does great with the light hacking task. Now, you're not going to be falling down trees. You're not going to be Paul Bunyan and pull this thing out, you know, and take down half the forest. But if you need to chop down a few lodge poles to help build your lean-to, or you need to hack off some branches to help with your fire and the fuel for your fire, this is definitely going to be able to handle that and it bites in again it just comes back to that grind and that saber grind and the weight and the balance it's going to ch take out chunks as you hack away at your branches or pieces of wood that you need to take now finally to the finer cutting tasks. Now the saber grind is not going to be ideal for like food prep around the campsite. It does okay, but you know, you're not going to be filleting, you know, tomatoes and that type of thing. It's just not going to happen. It'll be able to do a decent job, but something with a full flat grind that's a lot thinner will be better at those tasks, but that's like with most survival knives. And finally to the detailed woods work, the woods craft. If a survival knife is not very good at woods craft, I'm not going to carry it. Come around the other side. Totally digging how this cuts in. Yeah, it looks good. Like a mora, man. Look at that. 
that's a that's a tall compliment there for that right kind of there. cutting totally. <laughs> for survival knife look at that though dude oh my gosh that was easy as pie oh my gosh dude a more is kind of the gold standard for that kind of that stuff that was that's what it reminded me of when i just did that yep. wow good job pete folks this thing is literally without words and the only word that comes to mind is like epic maybe mind-blowing i don't know what else to say for the way that this is designed you may not expect a lot of performance in the finer detailed work but this thing is awesome it does great feather sticks great shaving it just curled away at all the wood that we were doing awesome, uh, when you awesome. want to do a notch you know for a trigger a trap something like that you're going to be super pleased with its ability to do that and do it a very very well competing with much thinner lighter weight knives from what i've seen and i'm just very pleased with that capability of this knife knife that it can do the the woods craft the bush craft type of task for a mid-weight survival knife better than most so folks in conclusion when we actually talk about the performance and my kind of final thoughts on the on the business end of it i gotta tell you i am so happy with it because when i took this knife out i was thinking to myself okay how is this going to perform compared to my se6 which is kind of my one and done blade buy it forget it and i'm so pleased with the se6 performance now obviously this in every way is upgraded you know the steel is much better the handle ergonomics you know the um kydex sheath all that stuff i mean the the se6 is like a mazda miata this thing is like a red ferrari california in its capability um, and I'm just so happy with it because it outdid all of my expectations and in any way that I can come up with and think of, if you were to say, hey, purely forget about steels, forget, forget about cool color and, you know, cool, you know, combinations and, you know, aesthetics, which one performs better? I think that this outperforms my SE6 hands down every day. So the handle is also a huge part of the knife. And I feel like a lot of times knife companies can do great with the blade and then lose it on the handle. That is not the case on this knife. First off is the fact that these are not pinned in. Most Mintech companies, Mintech companies would be pinning in their handles. These are removable. So you can totally take these off if you wanna swap out for different colors, different things like that down the line, which is awesome. Or if there was ever damage to it and you're out in the woods, you could remove the handles, wrap it in paracord and keep on trucking. Whereas if it was pinned in, it would cause a lot more problems for you in that emergency situation. Secondly is this double stacking of micarta. Most companies do not do this. You see this a lot in the custom world, and that's what I love is that Dark Timber and Peter, they're bringing over the custom flare into the production and mid-tech world. So what we have here is a main layer of black micarta and then tan micarta on top of that, giving it this double staged look, which is so, so cool. High polished in the center and then less polished on each end, just giving it great contrast. There's lots of different color combinations. Some of them even come with wood so you have a lot of options there to really show your style with this design on the handle and one thing i always noticed with the custom knives from dark timber was there that peter was always looking to make sure that not only were the handles very aesthetically pleasing and stand out from the crowd but also ergonomic and so i see that with this knife not only is every single angle nice and machined and smoothed out we have a great palm swell at 0.89 at the maximum thickness here then it tapers down near the neck and near the back and then flares back out so i mean with my large size hands and i share that with you for perspective you can see i have a huge amount of real estate on the back end there and uh, then we can even back up I can get that really nice wrist flick and get some light hacking done. Then we have this really deep guard right here. So I'm really locked into place for stabbing or just more, you know, uh, slashing tasks, stuff that I don't need a ton of control over. And then we have nice scallops right here. I love that. So I can either do a pull grip, kind of a pinch grip like this if I'm doing more food processing, game processing, uh, or I can use that finger choil, which is fantastic. Very large, lots of space in there. It's not cramped. And I have this great balance it's almost like finger choil inside a finger choil and gives me huge control over the knife. No jimping to worry about. I love that. And I can just grip this thing. And now I can do that really fine work. That palm swell works perfectly back in there and just, it, it, it's a dream. It's like holding my wife to hold this knife guys. I mean, that's how comfortable, that's how delicious it feels when you're out in the woods. Let's talk about this 
not only high quality, but unique designed sheath here. This is a Kydex sheath done by Grizzly Outdoors, and they have done a phenomenal job. What we're looking at here is something that not only stands out from the crowd with this little notch, but this notch is functional as well. It's designed for you to wrap about, I can't remember the exact amount, I think between 50 and 100 feet of a 550 paracord on, and so that you don't have to worry about the paracord sliding off your sheath. For those of you who like to do that, you can wrap it around your sheath. This thing has a drainage hole, and it's still has a lot of a different attachment points and just looks cool if you're not going to do the paracord just stands out from the crowd a little bit cuts down on some weight right here with this little cutout then it comes with this multi-directional and multi-attachment drop leg offset uh, feature that has a really good rigid nylon web here all of this is detachable so maybe you want to use the drop leg part but you don't want to use the nylon webbing awesome you could just screw in a blade tech lock right here lots of different options and capabilities you could take the the drop leg off completely do a uh, blade tech lock down here we have great tightness and lockup no rattle at all awesome we got a great flare out with that thumb ramp right there so that I can grab the knife, deploy it, and I don't even have to do a walk up. I'm set and locked and ready to go for use, regardless if you're just using it around the campsite or if you're looking for a larger you know, soldier knife, you're locked in and you're ready to go right away. You don't have to worry about doing some sort of a walk up or anything like that. So a fantastic, super high quality sheath that's gonna give you lots of lashing points and is gonna be really secure with no need to upgrade at any point in the near future. Okay, so what about price? That's gonna determine it a lot for you guys when you're looking at a mid-tech knife. And for me, having been someone who has purchased mid-tech knives before from companies like Fiddleback Forge, from Bark River, and from Survive Knives, or the companies I'm thinking of, this is actually really competitive, and in some ways offers more than those other knife companies offer. Now for the starting basic introductory model that you see here, which is just micarta on the handle, just two different colors and layers, uh, you're looking at $285. Now the price will go up from there depending on how exotic you want to make the handle. And the handle material, there because of the per limited production runs that they do right now, uh, you can get them in all sorts of different crazy color combinations and woods and different things like that depending on their availability. And that may bring it up some. But for under $300, we're getting the CPM 3V steel, the, some of the best lines I've ever seen on the market period, and particularly in the mid-tech world, and one of the best Kydex sheaths. You know, I've had Kydex sheaths from other companies in that kind of world, but I always have to upgrade them somehow, get drop leg features, or, you know, get a blade tech lock or something like that. This is a one and done Kydex sheath as well. Some of those companies just do leather sheaths. So I love that. And so for under $300, guys, I think that this is a screaming deal and you're getting huge capability and bang for buck with zero need to upgrade. Now you can pick these up over at DLT uh, and you can pick them up at Knives Ship for free. Those are the two areas we'll have links in the description below. If they're not available when this video goes live, just stick with it, sign up for emails, and they're regularly cranking out production runs of these. And each time they're getting fine tuned and tweaked to the point where one day there will plan to be no lag time at all and they're always available on different websites. So we will again have links in the description below. And I do wanna thank my buddy Peter for his willingness to send this over to me to be able to test out, review, see what's being produced and be able to show you guys what the capabilities of this honey badger are so that you guys can make a wise decision. Is this the right mid-tech survival knife for you? So folks, there you have it. In conclusion, this is a dream. Uh, I love this thing. There's so many good aspects to this knife from um, I think value, bang to buck, kydex, the ergonomics, the saber grind, the size, you know, being a little bit bigger than most of those midweight survival knives. Most of those come in at about like six to six and a half overall blade length. And then you're looking at like cutting edge of like five inches. This one having that six and a half cutting edge and then that seven and a quarter actual blade length, you're getting a little bit more real estate to work with. Well balanced, great ergonomics. I mean, I could just go on and on guys. I love this thing. If you're interested, again, links in the description below. And uh, if they're out of stock, just be patient. They'll be back in stock. And uh, we'll be taking a look at the other Dark Timber production knife that has been released recently, the 1911. And I will be doing a giveaway on that one soon. We have one that we're keeping, one that we're giving away. So stick around. You're gonna see that coming in the next couple weeks on the 1911 as well. Guys, uh, totally dig this thing. Uh, Midweight survival knife, kicking it up to the next level. And uh, I wanna thank you so much for coming over here, ch checking out the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear you guys' thoughts, any questions that you may have. Uh, check us out on all the relevant social media as well. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.